the thing about um, that period of history, yeah. whether it was New York or California or any place, and where I was involved with feminists like mm -hmm. yourself, the real core was the I the idealism. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that since. That's what we experienced together. That's what changed our lives. Mm -hmm. The point uh, being that we really felt we could make a revolution. Mm -hmm. Actually, we did make a revolution, mm -hmm. but by evolu an evolutionary process. Mm -hmm. Because sense. we never took guns, we never took, uh, we never burned our bras, we never did all the things that uh, the media says mm -hmm. we're well known for. What the media doesn't say we were well known for was this incredible level of idealism. Mm -hmm. We really had faith. And in political matters and in social matters, mm -hmm. you really don't get that very often, people having faith mm -hmm. in something. I know I, I was uh, the example you know, of the 48-year-old woman who, who got to change her life and reinvent herself. And as we both know, just so many women mm -hmm. did that at that time. But you can't do that easily. You have to really believe in something to be able to do it. And what we had that was most important was that, you know, just to start here, I had you and you had me and we had other women. Mm -hmm. So for the first time probably in our lives, we were really in the midst of a very, very strong uh, female consciousness. And that, that left a great mark on us. It really did. I mean, the th whole sense of community, when I think about it, I really feel badly that the generations of women that have come after that have not experienced that. What, what we had was a privilege. And I think we knew it at the time, but we didn't know the scope of it at the time. And it was a privilege in the sense that it was historical. We were doing something incredibly important that was changing our lives and the lives of other women forever. We were asked to speak a lot. Mm -hmm. This was a, one of the post, early posters. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed we were both on that panel. Yeah. Um, this is Harris's uh, a photo. I don't know if we can get a good picture of it. It was, um, it, yeah, this you, is the reunion. The reunion. Yeah. reunion. But let's yeah. show, like, the first picture from the first in contrast. You took that picture. I took this picture. Yeah. That's why I'm, I look like I've just thrown myself <laughs> on the ground, is because I've just clicked the dash, camera and dashed yeah. back over there. Yeah. But this was a retreat that we had at Joan Snyder's. Snyder's. Mm -hmm. And it was the most wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we, we were in the process of defining ourselves in the magazine at oh, that time. Yeah. And one of the things that was so different, the, the contrast between what happened with heresies and then what happened, let's say, with whack later, is that we were so thoughtful. What should we name ourselves? It took us how many months to finally settle on, A long the, time. on the name heresies because we had the possibility, the other name that was in the running was pink. Pink, I remember that. And heresies. And of course, they really uh, were two different aspects. Mm -hmm. One was the cultural aspect of feminism mm -hmm. and one was the more socialist Marxist a aspect mm -hmm. they, they carried. So we, we, we had quite a dialogue around, okay, which mm -hmm. name are we, we going to settle on? I love this one of you, Mimi. This is just wonderful. This was taken at uh, May Stevens. Yeah, the loft. loft. Yeah. And this was, I believe, in 76, one of the first meetings that we had when we were forming Heresies. Mm -hmm. And we were very intense and very serious. About the collective uh, Heresies, I think that we should give a lot of credit to Lucy. Absolutely. Because Lucy, for the women at that time, for all of us, had a sense of authority because she had been uh, published many times. She had a lot of uh, professional experience. Uh, she was well-liked, well-known. And she threw herself into heresies. Uh, and so uh, often we disagreed with her, but she had a good voice.